Okay, guys, let me explain what's been happening to me lately. <laughs> lately, I have been uh, having these talks in my sleep, and I'm guessing it's with spirit because the advice is, is so awesome of what I need to do. Sometimes you think that um, you're doing the right thing and that you're satisfied with life and it's not true. You'd be amazed at what's in your subconscious. So I'm here to grant a little advice and tell you guys what's been going on with me. So let me tell you what's been going on and what had happened. Okay. What had happened is um, for about two months now, whenever I go anywhere, as soon as I get there, I find a dime or two dimes. Okay. And so I'm like, people are stepping over this money. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, why am I finding these dimes? What is what does this mean? And I'm finding a lot of dimes. Okay. Prior to that, um, I don't know if you guys know that I may have told you that I see synchronicities. I see um, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, which is my birthday, greatest day in the world. Um, and um, I'm sorry, guys. I have to do this. Um, so, um, I have been seeing synchronicities, two, 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 three, 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 five, five, five. This has been going on uh, for some years now, but all of a sudden I started seeing 10, 10 a lot. And I go to the store and if I give someone money and they give me back change of $10, they'll give me two fives. Okay. So I always end up with four fives. Really weird. Really weird. And I know that it's. 10 10. Um, so I looked up the meaning of 10 10 because it keeps happening, it's constantly happening. Hubby and I go out and we walk, and guess what? I will find a dime, I'll find a dime all along the path. I find a dime when I'm ending the, the walk, I'll find a dime uh, in the middle of the walk. So, and I was telling him about it, but now he's seeing that I'm honestly finding these dimes. Well, not that he thought that I was lying or anything. My children have been with me and I have found dimes. So, um, I looked up the meaning of it and it, I had an event that's going to happen. I just don't know what. I know that it's a completion of something and that I have to keep my thoughts positive and stay, um, and stay on the right path. Well, it means that you're on the right path to something. You just don't know what it is yet. So, um, I, um, I, um, what am I saying? <laughs> See what happens when you get younger. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've been finding these dollars. Um, the other day, Hubby and I went to the gas station and he wanted to get some scratch offs. And um, when we come outside, mind you, people were coming and going, coming and going. Oh, we're in the gas station. So um, while we're in the gas station, Hubby, pick, he tells me to pick out the cards. And I go, no, my luck hasn't been that great lately. You pick out the cards. So Hubby picks out the cards. I walk outside, we're going outside, hubby steps over it. Other people, people were coming and going, like I said, other people have stepped over it. I look on the ground, what do I see? Quarter. Okay, this is the first time I find a quarter. I did find two pennies. I used to always find pennies. So anyway, I say, look at that. I pick up the quarter. So we forget about the cards. They're in the car and everything. And um, we're... We're talking, we're in the house, we're going out, we're coming back in. Our daily routine, out in, out in. Well, mine anyway, his when he's home from work with me on his days off. So, um, later that night, I said, hubby, we forgot to get the scratch-offs out of the car. 
So we get the scratch offs and um, I scratched them off at the bar and I was right at the island. I don't want anybody to think I drink. <laughs> so uh, I, I scratched them off and as I scratched them off, guess what happens? One card has $5 on it. Another card has $20. So there was a $25 win. I wish it was $25,000. <laughs> but uh, we were still grateful, you know. And these are messages coming from the other side. I believe that my dad is watching up for me, honestly. Um, and that's also one of the meanings of the dimes. That someone that you love that has passed on is trying to send you messages that you're protected. And that they're watching over you. So I'm uh, grateful to know that um, whatever I'm doing, I'm on the right path of doing it. And that uh, I believe it's my dad that's watching over me. And I, I'm just grateful to spirit. And I'm thankful. I always have a very thankful uh, attitude, you know. You have to. You have to wake up with the spirit of gratitude. You don't know what's going to happen throughout the day. So be thankful. Be thankful and ask that no matter what it is, a positive result comes from it. Okay? You guys, I'm going to tell you something that I've never shared with anybody. Okay, I lied. Did I sell you right? No. I don't think I did. No, I haven't told anybody. I was kind of embarrassed. You guys, I felt that when I was younger, um, I was attractive, but not to the point where I was stuck on myself or, um, uh, you know, conceited or anything. As I age, I don't think I'm ugly, but I don't think that, you know, I'm as attractive, as attractive as I was when I was younger. And so, you guys, I did not want to show my face on YouTube. I really didn't. Because I know that people out here can be very critical. I know that people out here can be very mean, nasty, and rude. Okay? And I was not willing to put myself out here like that. But spirit pushed me. Let me tell you something. I never believed in all the years I have lived, and I've lived 52, I never believed that people were attractive from the outside. I believe it comes from in here. And I am just like everybody else. You were just like everybody else. None of us are perfect. Nobody knows what good looks are. We were taught uh, from an ugly standpoint of view of what beauty is supposed to look like, okay? And um, it is time that we get rid of that because uh, what the world deems as beautiful is not beautiful, okay? As far as human beings. Everybody's plucked, tucked, and uh, full of makeup and garbage that's supposed to be so beautiful. See them without that makeup. See them without that plucking and tucking and all these camera tricks. And guess what? <laughs> you won't think they're so attractive. So in the meantime and in between time, spirit pushed me to do what I needed to do. And you guys, I'm confident. I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in um being who I'm supposed to be. I'm confident that I'm moving away from uh, being shy. I'm confident that I can get in front of you guys and be myself. And not only that, to reach out to people to help. That's what I was placed here for. I was placed here for a purpose, and that's to help others. And that's what I'm going to do. So... Yes, this is me, loving myself as the universe loves me, as my creator loved me. And I'm walking this life path. And I'm not walking alone. I have my 
beautiful hubby, my beautiful family, my beautiful children. Uh, I have two awesome brothers. I have my nieces, my nephews. I love them with everything that I have in me. And you guys, self-love. Self-love is something that we all need. Self-love is something that is truly awesome. It's truly awesome. And confidence. Be confident in who you are. Don't let anybody put you under a bus. Don't let anybody walk all over you. Because beauty comes from within inside. All right, you guys, with that being said, I'm going to <laughs> finish up the scrub. Hop in the shower. Yes, I clean my face before I get in the shower. Sometimes I clean it after I get out of the shower. I find it easier to clean it before I get in the shower and then get in the shower and wash. So, um, I hope everybody has an awesome Tuesday. Remember to keep others uplifted. Keep yourself uplifted because I keep you uplifted. And I hope you're keeping me uplifted too. I love you guys. Peace.